Hello everyone, Ardrome Harris here from DVD Copy Blog. I want to uh, present a very short video for those of you who just simply want to be able to copy a DVD movie without a whole lot of rigmarole, uh, a whole lot of details. Make it easy on yourself. Simply get a program that will allow you to insert an original DVD, click a button, then insert a blank DVD, and boom, you're done. The application that can do that for you is DVD Cloner 2014, uh, uh, going into the new year. Uh, today is January the 2nd. Uh, there is probably going to be a new release, DVD Cloner 2015, but they are basically the same. So uh, here you go. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and get the program. You'll find the link below this video. Click on that, get the program. The free stuff is fine, but you're really wasting your time because you're spending a lot of time uh, copying DVDs. Uh, launch the program. And you'll get this window here. It's prompting here to insert the DVD movie, and I'm doing that right now. Once the DVD has loaded, you'll get this window right here. Uh, one thing you should know about DVD Corner 2014-2015 is that it removes all known DVD protections. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, the original DVD movie has been installed. And then click the Start button. And uh, DVD Corner 2014 goes through the process of reading the data from that DVD movie. It's not going to take long. Uh, once it's done that, then it will transition into uh, copying that original DVD data onto a blank DVD disc. And through this process, you'll be asked to remove the original DVD movie and insert a blank DVD. Then you click another button and then It'll copy the original DVD data onto the blank DVD, and you will have an exact copy of the original DVD movie. It, it's really that simple. Not a whole lot of steps. And again, the most convenient part about this application is that it does all the work for you. You don't have to scour the internet and find third-party programs that will remove DVD protections that are appearing on new DVDs nowadays. All right, uh, DVD Cloner 2014-2015 has just uh, ejected the original movie from my PC and it's now prompting me to insert a blank DVD. And now DVD Cloner 2014-2015 will go through the process of burning that original DVD data onto a blank DVD. And that's what it's doing right now. Down here, you're being told that the total time since inserting the original DVD has been 12 minutes and about 30 seconds at the time remaining to burn the DVD to a blank DVD is about 15 minutes and this will tick down very rapidly as it gets into the process. You see there, you just did it. So if we take 12 minutes, let's round this off and make it 13 minutes plus uh, say two minutes, we're talking 15 minutes to copy a DVD movie. And it really is that simple. It's much better to purchase a program that you can use for life and get free updates as you go along that will remove all the copy protections that manufacturers will put on DVDs. This will save you a lot of time. All right, so this is DVD Cloner 2014 slash 2015. And this is Ardrome Harris from dvdcopyblog.com. Please visit the website as I have lots of other video tutorials on audio and other multimedia software. Take care.